Greetings and salutations, Charlton66 here once again with another video. Um, this one's going to focus on uh, one of my all-time favorite authors, um, H.P. Lovecraft. Now, Kyle Rowe and One Man's Trash kind of inspired me to uh, to to do this video. He's showing some H.P. Uh, Lovecraft stuff and um, the omnibuses that he had in his last video. Um, pretty darn cool. But... Um, Again, it's kind of inspired me to uh, to uh, go through my through my, my books. I didn't realize how many I, I had um, until I started to go through them. Um, hope someone, well, hope some of you I know Kyle will find this of interest. But um, you know, again, H.P. Lovecraft is um, you know um, his mythos of Cthulhu carries on um, to movies, comic books, obviously, you know, merchandising, you know, beyond belief. Um, if he was still alive, I'm sure he'd be amazed, if not bewildered, by, uh, if you know anything about H.P. Lovecraft, I'm sure he would, like I said, be, um, find it, be amazed and, and bewildered at the same time, um, about the popularity of his stories, um, because I don't think he thought he was that much of a writer, um, but, uh, you know, his stuff, you know, seemed published, he wrote more letters, um, than he did anything else, I think, and um, we'll go over that here in a minute. But um, so the first one, of the first things I want to show is um, this um, this old bottle that's made up to look like a an old um, bottle from the Miskatonic University um, called the Great Cthulhu Miskatonic Medicine. Um, kind of a cool little thing. This guy makes them up, and um, I bought it off of eBay years ago. That's kind of cool. And uh, this little trinket here, um, it's made out of wood, um, lurking fear, but if you open it up, it has a really cool clasp on the side, and you open it up, and you've got Cthulhu looking at you. It's made out of some type of, of clay or polymer or something. It's got a jewel for the eye, or a kind of, it's like a jeweled stone for the eye, which is kind of cool. It hangs up, hangs up on, on your wall. I think it's kind of cool. And onward to, to some of the books. Because um, I got a lot here. I'm going to go through them kind of quick. H.P. Lovecraft, The Looking Fear, and Other Stories. This is my, one of my oldest paperbacks that I have um, with H.P. Uh, Lovecraft um, books on it. You know, the oldest paperback book. Uh, the Trail of Cthulhu, August Derleth. Again, Argus Derleth was a friend of H.P. Um, Lovecraft. H.P. Uh, Lovecraft, um, The Dunwich Horror and Other Stories. Awesome Marina cover. The Color of Space, which is one of my favorite stories. Another Marina cover. Again, this is a set of books. Who is this one? Um, Jove. Um, company put out those books again. I think there's there's several more left, of course, from that series with the, with those covers on it. Um, H.P. Lovecraft, a biography. Um, L. Sprague de Camp. H.P. Lovecraft, Blood Curling Tales of Horror and the Macabre. H.P. Lovecraft, The Lurker in the Threshold. The Mask of Cthulhu, August Derelith. H.P. Lovecraft, The Dream Quest of the Unknown Kadath. Or Kadath. H.P. Lovecraft, Lurker in the Threshold. Again, another series with a different cover on them. This set is by Valentine, I believe. Yeah, from Valentine. These four. Lovecraft in this case of Charles Dexter Ward. This is part of this Valentine, this Valentine set. And that's the thing, the issue with getting all these books together is trying to get a complete set 
from whatever book company put put them out. The Shuttered Room and Other Tales of Horror, H.P. Lovecraft. I've got two copies of that one. This is what I'm currently reading. I have it over here on my... This one right here. And The Tomb, which is obviously from the same... This is Valentine as well. Yeah, it's Valentine Books. Uh, another one of the, from the, that same Valentine series. H.P. Lovecraft, The Tales of the Cthulhu Mythos, Volume 2. And here's from the same Valentine series. At the Mountains of Madness and Other Tales of Terror. H.P. Lovecraft. The Tomb, The Lurking Fear, The Doom That Came to Sarnath, The Shadow Over Innsmith, and Others Tells Other Stories of Terror, of Horror, H.P. Lovecraft. So there's like a day gone there on the front. The Spawn of Cthulhu, H.P. Lovecraft, and others. So this is um, stories inspired by H.P. Lovecraft. He has some stories in there as well. The Survivor and others, H.P. Lovecraft and August Derelith. H.P. Lovecraft and August Derelith, The Survivor and others. Again with a different cover. The Loved Ones and Other Revisions, H.P. Lovecraft. I don't think he needs to be revised. I don't think anyone really should touch his work and, and do any revisions on it. Um, I don't think anyone's really worthy to really to touch his stuff. But this is a, um, um, annotated H.P. Lovecraft. Smaller version. I got a much bigger version here in a second, but it's it's such a um, big volume that it's that's hard to read. But there's stuff in here um, uh, where he re where he wrote his stories about where at in Providence and you know things like that. Things that he touched upon in real life. He put in his stories. It talks about that in in here. The Dream Cycle of H.P. Lovecraft: Dreams, Terror, and Death. Got an introduction by Neil Gaiman. And this has his complete fiction, H.P. Lovecraft. It was like a Borders or Barnes & Noble, one of their specials that has a complete fiction. So whenever I want to read The White Ship, which is one of my all-time favorite H.P. Lovecraft stories, I can just come here and open it up and find it. And, of course, The Lurking Fear and The Color of Space. But, um... It's a nice volume to have. It was a cheap volume to, to get it, to have all these stories. And this is the big one, the new annotated H.P. Lovecraft. It's a pretty big, thick book. Um, got a Ford by Alan Moore, I do believe. Yeah, Introduction by Alan Moore. But um, any, it's worth having. Any H.P. Lovecraft fan should have this one book. But it's, it's very, this tome is... Um, Hard to, hard to read because you it's so big and heavy, but it's worth getting through, obviously. This is The Lurker in the Lobby, A Guide to the Cinema of H.P. Lovecraft. It's very handy when you talk about his movies. Now, this is um, a hard book to find. There's I think there's four or five in this series. Um, it's called Selected Letters. Um, letters that he wrote to other authors and writers and and just regular um you know to ordinary folk but um uh he wrote tons and tons of letters tons and tons of letters so there's um there are different colors um to the to these volumes uh, this is the only volume that that i have um they're hard to find and when you do see them, they're very expensive more than i'm willing to pay um because i think people are just trying to gouge the prices Another one, uh, another set of books are hard to find. The Arkham House, um, Hardback to the Dust Jackets, um, At the Mountains of Madness, H.P. Lovecraft. 
and Dunwich Horror and, and others. Dagon and other macabre tales. Horror in the Museum, which is great, great cover. And H.P. Lovecraft Unbound. Um, this tale is inspired works by the, by H.P. Uh, Lovecraft. Nice little book to have. H.P. Lovecraft type stories are in this book. Some are some are hit or miss. Some are pretty good. Nothing like the master though. The H.P. Lovecraft Lexicon, the Reader's Guide to Persons, Places, and Things, and in, in, in the Tales of H.P. Lovecraft. This is a cool book to have. This is the same thing as kind of the animated, animated, the um, the other book it talks about where um, where he writes and places that are that are in Providence and places he wrote about in New York and Providence and back and forth. That he went through through his life um but this is a good book to have for that reason you can just track some of the stuff and it has, has like a dictionary in here of places and terms and stuff from all the books and last but not least hp lovecraft the mysterious man behind the darkness which is a kind of autobi um, autobiography of, of his life but with it's richly illustrated how you know Houdini was inspired by certain things and how he was inspired from Houdini pulps that's one thing I don't have I love to have some pulps that um, that uh, that uh, has HP Lovecraft stories in there particularly if he's, if he's on the cover so that would be really cool to have but they're they're very pricey. But anyway, um, that was my rundown of most of my HP Lovecraft stuff. I have stuff floating around um, of HP uh, Lovecraft stuff. But uh, this is um, the, the meat and potatoes of it. Hope you enjoyed the content. Um, but I figured I'd go to Kyle. Kind of kind of inspired me, like I said, to uh, to do this video and um share with everyone my uh love of hp lovecraft so hope everyone takes care and um talk to you guys later